If you enjoy the video and my content, please consider supporting my channel over on Patreon at patreon.com slash katiedidart. Thanks so much! Hello, hello, my squidlings. It's Katie here, and welcome back to another Art Snacks unboxing video. This is the Art Snacks box for the month of April 2019, and I... I'm actually really excited, that voice crack, uh, to open this box um, and find out what's inside. It feels kind of light, so I am expecting not a lot of things. I don't know, but we'll find out. Let's open the box. So, first off, we have got the menu card. Going to set that aside so we can be surprised. What is up with me not getting stickers? That makes me really sad. Um, anyway... We got a Laffy Taffy candy. This is cherry. <laughs> Let's get into the actual art snacks part of this box. Um, and yeah, they're all in here, so that makes it easy. So we've got four things. Okay. Set them here. Uh, the first thing we're going to pick up is a Pentel Orens. Oh, this is 0 .3 lead. I've never had something so tiny. Oh my goodness. Look how tiny that lead is. Oh my gosh. Um, and then, yeah, it's just a mechanical pencil. Please do not advance the lead beyond the pipe. Really? Like, I feel like that's how you're supposed to use all mechanical pencils. There's an eraser under this cap. Um, yeah, it's just a mechanical pencil. <clears throat> it might just be because... They don't want you breaking the lead. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. But according to the card, it is a an eight. Jesus, an eight dollar and ninety five cent retail. Anyway, next thing is a. Okay, I see the brand name Zebra, but I don't read that. Um, let's see. It's a Zebra Sensations double ended. Oh, it's double ended brush pen. So we've got one end right here. And, oh, it's a little fine cutie nib. All right. This is a $5 retail. It is a really nice brush pen, and I love zebra brush pens, so I'm excited about that. Next up is a Caran d'Ache Swiss Made Luminance Pencil. I've heard great things about these pencils. I've heard they're like the gods of the pencils. Um, I don't know, but I've heard. Uh, this color in particular is Prussian Blue number 159. This pencil in particular is a $5.40 retail, which is a lot of money for one pencil. And then the last thing we got is an Iron Lac Pump Action Marker. And I'm going to open this so we can see what the tip looks like. Maybe my little weak noodle arms. There we go. Um, oh, so it's a really chunky uh, tip. I'm never usually a fan of getting a huge chunky nib, uh, like marker like this in Art Snacks, but hey, we can work with it. Uh, again, it's pump action, and I'm assuming it's this green color, so, um, that'll be fun to kind of play around with. So yeah, here are the supplies we got. Zebra brush pen, uh, mechanical pencil, we got a Caran d'Ache luminance pencil, and then we got a paint marker. We're missing the sticker, Art Snacks. Why do you hate me? This is three stickers now. I actually need to contact their customer support. But anyway, let's get into an illustration. Oh, hey, I didn't tell you how much this was worth. Um, before we go, it is a $5.55 retail. So, yeah, and I'll, like, add the price breakdown in, in a minute. But anyway, let's go and do an illustration thing, yo. All right, so in my last video that I did, like, some swatching in real time, I actually got a bit of flack for that. Because it took me 16 minutes to get into the video. OMG. So I thought that um, instead I would just do a little swatchy swatch here. Uh, just kind of over on the side. My battery's dying. That's nice. Um, but yeah, so this is the Pentel. Oh, I don't, I don't like how this writes. Help. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, what is this thing called? Um, Orens? Orens? Pencil is as B lead. Okay, I like it a little more now that it's not like super close to the barrel. I didn't care too much for that. Anyway, so there's that. If you can even see it. 
Then we've got a Karen Dash. Luminance pencil. Okay, I see the hype. These are really nice. Then we've got a zebra brush pen. Got it in this fine line here. And then we've also got it in this big old broad. Oh wow, that was kind of disappointing. I expected that to be like super broad. Also, it's like, help, help me. They are really flexible though. But anyway, this one can also do fine lines. Okay, that was disappointing. I was expecting like a big old like, Whoa. can this one be as flexible? Okay, it's sad. This one's a little, like, the small one side is a little more flexible than the big side. At least the way I write. So anyway. Then the last one is this Iron Lac pump action thingamajigger that I need to get going, and my camera battery's probably going to die before that happens. Alright, hopefully this doesn't go out before my uh, battery dies. But anyway, this is not a zebra. What am I writing? This is the Iron... Oh my gosh, why can't I write things? Iron <laughs> Lac... This is, like, really strange. Maybe it's just the paper. I'm pretty sure it's just the paper. Big old chunky marker. It's not very opaque. Maybe I just don't have enough ink. Is this water-based? Yeah, but it doesn't seem... Again, I think this might just be the uh, paper. But anyway. Yeah, there's that. It's very chunky. But yeah, here's the swatches for that. Now... I'm gonna do a little doodle. One last thing I want to talk to you guys about before um, I get into the actual illustration, I'm sorry, is that today is the last day that you will be able to pre-order the pop sockets that I designed. So if you're interested in getting the pop sockets plus some uh, cool pre-order bonuses, then there will be a link on the screen to where you can go check it out and pre-order them. So yeah, go ahead over and do that. Alright, so now on to the illustration. I'm not even going to lie, this was the second time I had drawn something out. Um, as you may notice, there was no video last week, and I do apologize for that. Um, I had found out some pretty, um, I don't even know, exciting news, I guess? Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, I haven't drawn anything in a really long time. I kind of took a break, and... It was a very much needed break. But anyway, so I felt really rusty. The first picture I drew was just like a headshot bust. And I was like, okay, look, I need to stop drawing those. So I decided to kind of whip out a full body on this one and have fun with it. And so I included the sketching process just because they included a mechanical pencil. And I like to sketch on camera sometimes. So yeah, I decided to do that. And this pose is pretty much a character laying in... Uh, kind of like a field of flowers, I guess. I didn't feel like drawing a ton of flowers, though. Um, I do want to talk about the supplies. Uh, so that zebra pen, I was really disappointed with it because it was really dry feeling. Like, I had to make really slow lines to make it not, like, break. And that was really irritating for me um, as far as zebra pens are concerned, just because I'm used to them being extra juicy. Um, I did really enjoy the pencil. However, I am a side drawer, <laughs> I guess, with my mechanical pencils. I draw with the side of the lead, and um, I kind of hated the fact that I needed to push the lead out a little bit more, even though they're like, no, don't do it. Um, so it does cause it to break a little easier, but I had to do it for my sanity's sake. I really did like the Karen Dash pencil. It was really nice, especially with the paper that I was using. It was really smooth and Honestly, it was just a nice pop of color. <laughs> and I didn't really care too much for the Iron Lac marker. I barely used it in this piece. I'm not a big fan of huge old paint markers. I like Posca's and that's about it. But anyway, now that you kind of got my opinion on the supplies, I want to tell you the news. So if you haven't been following me on social media, I, um, I posted it there. But my husband and I last week found out that we're expecting and this is our first child and it's really nerve wracking and super unexpected and <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to do and nausea has been kicking my butt so that's why I've been kind of 
sparse with videos and stuff. And I, I really apologize for that. I'm going to try my best to um, keep videos as normal as possible. I do have a convention coming up um, next weekend. I'll be at Heroes and Villains Fan Fest in Chicago. Um, I'll give you more information on that if you follow me on social media. I'll be posting it there. So um, I have social media links in the description below if you want to keep updated on that. But anyway, um, yeah, and then I have another convention the week after. It's Gojo Techie Con in Ohio. So I've got a pretty busy month the rest of the month, but I'm going to try to pre-film some videos for you guys. Anyway, here is a look at the final piece. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to give a special thank you to all of my patrons who have been super duper patient with me as um, all of these new things are unraveling in my life. So thank you guys for that. Don't forget, if you're not a part of our cute squid pod, there's a subscribe button down below. All right, so until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!